this is the Mighty Oba here once again on CLB TV and 1080 AM WUFO Radio here with our weekly sports update. Well, I want to say to all of you, happy holidays and a happy new year as we go into a new year talking about the world of sports. How about my New York Knicks? Even though they've lost to the Celtics, lost to the Heat, you're supposed to lose to the Heat and lose to the Celtics at this stage of their development, but they're playing much better basketball. I like what I'm seeing from the New York Knicks. Amari Stoudemire's game has improved tremendously uh, throughout the course of this year. Before, they said he didn't play defense. Well, he's playing very good defense. Before, they said that he did not rebound. Well, he's rebounding very well, and he's leading the New York Knicks. A couple of more pieces to the puzzle and I think the Knicks will be in a position to make a run. Well, they're playing good basketball as it is right now. They're not one of the best teams in the league, but they are really an improving franchise in the NBA, and Donnie Walsh has to be congratulated over taking over from the beleaguered Isaiah Thomas, who really did a terrible job as manager of the Knicks. But Donnie Walsh has put it into place, a very good group of hardworking basketball players. Maybe they don't have the talent of a Miami Heat or Los Angeles Lakers, but they do work hard. They have a superstar in Amari Sotomayor. If they can get one more piece of the puzzle, the Knicks may be challenging some of the teams in the East and the West, and I think they're going to do quite well and possibly make the playoffs this year. Well, we're coming to the end of the NFL season. And I think the team that you need to watch is the Atlanta Falcons. The Atlanta Falcons are playing pretty good basketball, I mean, pretty good football right now. And one thing that I like about the Atlanta Falcons, they are a pretty all round team. They've got a very good quarterback, very good running game, decent passing game, and they play pretty good team defense. And that spells a team that can get to the Super Bowl and win the Super Bowl. It's been the formula of all the Super Bowl winners. When everything comes together for that one year and you're able to make that push in the one-game series of the NFL, you can become a Super Bowl champion. Hey, we've seen that. There has not been any real dynasties since possibly the New England Patriots of the early 21st century. But the teams that we're seeing now are being able to put it all together at the end of the year, have limited injuries, and are able to make a push in the playoffs. We're seeing that from the Atlanta Falcons. That is the team that I think we all keep our eyes on very closely is the Atlanta Falcons. Also the Philadelphia Eagles. The Philadelphia Eagles right now have the most dangerous weapon in the NFL and that is Michael Vick. Michael Vick is playing at an MVP level leading the fan voting and Pro Bowl selections this year. He is playing very very good football. If they can continue to play at the level that they're playing and keep Michael Vick upright, the Eagles are also a team that you got to watch. you got to keep your eyes still on the New Orleans Saints. That is still a very good football team. Uh, they've had their ups and downs this year, but they're playing quite well right now. In the NFC, I think those are the teams you really got to keep your eyes on. Well, moving over to the AFC, of course, the New England Patriots are going to be in it. It's going to it's going to be whoever's playing uh, the best football at the end of the year. The Pittsburgh Steelers, Baltimore Ravens. I think if those teams are in there, those are the teams to beat. I do not believe the New York Jets are a team for the Super Bowl. I don't like the play of their quarterback, Mark Sanchez, nor do I like their uh, offensive play selection by Brian Schottenheimer. I think he's missed the boat. Uh, with the running game of the New York Jets, and I think they're missing some of the components off of their offensive line from last year. I think one of the principal mistakes that they made was letting Thomas Jones go. That is a bad mistake, a bad error by the, the New York Jets in bringing in an aging LaDainian Tomlinson who looked like a world beater at the beginning of the year but looks like his regular 31-year-old self at the end of the year. Bad mistake by the New York Jets coming back to haunt him. Sanchez not playing well in cold weather. He was looking good at the beginning of the year, looking bad at the end. I think the teams that you're looking for in the AFC, San Diego Chargers, very dangerous team. I don't think the Indianapolis Colts are going to be able to make a push. Their defense is just not good enough this year. I think the teams that you're looking at, Pittsburgh Steelers, Baltimore Ravens, New England Patriots, and the San Diego Chargers in the AFC. 
Those are the teams that I think are going to make a push for the Super Bowl. We will be live from the Super Bowl this year, live from Dallas, Texas, right there on Radio Row again for our 11th Super Bowl. And we want to uh, make sure that all of you follow us here on Facebook, on our blog, during the games. But keep up to date with the best weekly sports update in the nation with the mighty Oba. We'll see you next week right here on CLB. TV. I am the mighty Oba. Happy holidays to all of you.